That was confirmed physical separation at 1.05 p.m. Central Time as the station was flying 259 statute miles off the coast of Chile. Two good undocking burns and a nominal impulsive retreat burn. Next will be a brief hold at waypoint one before the fly around sequence is executed. We'll be monitoring Crew Dragon throughout the departure sequence as it makes its way from the International Space Station. Godspeed to Shane, Megan, Aki, and Tomah. To take you through the rest of the departure sequence, Denver we'll SpaceX. send you back over to Hawthorne. Dragon eyes have converged, and Dragon is navigating on Dragon Eye 2. We will time out of Impulsive Retreat 1 point and into Go to 1. Endeavor copies. Dragon SpaceX, we see the onboard warnings for Dragon I-1. No correction is required. Dragon is navigating on Dragon I-2. Copy, good Dragon I-2. And we're following along as the uh, crew Dragon Endeavor is backing away from the SpaceX International Endeavor, Space we're Station. We're going to go to Waypoint, MSs are docking suits. SpaceX copies in go to one and the MSs are doffing suits. We will transition cameras to external only if desired. And uh, SpaceX not required. SpaceX copies. Station on two, the ISS thrusters are enabled. Houston copies. So a lot happening there. The uh, Dragon is about 100 meters away from the International Space Station at this point. Gotten, the crew inside have uh, gotten the go to start doffing their suits. Now past the dynamic phase of undocking where the suits are required. Uh, so they'll start doffing as they head out to waypoint one, uh, which is about another 100 meters away as they slowly make their way out. They're going to waypoint one, which is about 200 meters away, right at the edge of the keep out sphere. Uh, and they'll hold for about a minute before starting the fly around maneuver. Uh, starting at this uh, very top or zenith position towards the space facing side, see them backing up. Uh, they're about at this position actually right now, about halfway. Then they'll execute a 50 second uh, fly around burn one. Uh, this will take them from the zenith or the space facing side to the aft or the back of the station uh, and cruise for a bit uh, until they hit the aft portion. It's expected that during this part of the flight uh, will be in an orbital nighttime. Uh, so right about these two burns, uh, fly around burns one and burn two, we should be getting some views of the International Space Station, maybe even of the Dragon, but they will be a little bit on the darker side. Then of course the uh, next two burns, burn three and burn four, will be in the uh, daylight. Uh, and the whole maneuver itself uh, will take about an hour and a half. You can see the position of the Dragon, uh, the very top portion of the Dragon with the nose cone face down towards the International Space Station at all times. This allows uh, for the crew inside with a perfect window view uh, looking down at the International Space Station to take digital photographs the entire way around. It's a photographic survey opportunity of the exterior of the International Space Station, allowing uh, the crew to visualize some of the areas of the space station that can't normally see be seen uh, by some of the external cameras on board. Not too long after it makes this full loop over the course of an hour and a half, there are two departure burns. Departure burn zero, that gets them outside of the keep out sphere, 
which they will have been hugging uh, for about uh, uh, an hour and a half, and then depart burn one, which sends them right outside the approach ellipsoid. At that time, uh, we are outside of joint operations between the International Space Station flight control teams and the Dragon teams here in Mission Control Hawthorne. They'll be taking control of Dragon's uh, journey for the remainder of its, uh, of its flight down to splash down off the coast of Pensacola, Florida, uh, targeting an on-time uh, splashdown at 7.33 p.m. Pacific time tonight. Yeah, so we've had an exciting morning so far. Uh, the call that we heard just a couple minutes ago was an indication uh, that everything is looking good and that um, both Aki and Toma can doff or take off their spacesuit. This will allow them to uh, have a little better mobility about the cabin in order to take those photos. Uh, like Gary mentioned, uh, these photos will help basically fill in the blanks that um, the onboard cameras uh, currently have on station as as SpaceX Endeavor MS1 is out of the suit ready to support fly around. SpaceX copies MS1 is ready for fly around on Dragon Ground. All right, so there's that call indicating that Toma has removed his suit and he's ready to take some photos. He'll be doing that um, as the nose cone is still currently open. And so there's actually a very small circular window at the top of the forward hatch. And uh, he's gonna be taking those photos of the station um, using using that, um, that port essentially. And uh, it is tight quarters, so obviously being able to have a little better mobility uh, will certainly be useful to him here coming up. So again, they're past that uh, dynamic phase, which is why they're getting out of their suits and they'll remain there. Um, the Dragon itself will fly autonomously. The crew do have the ability to execute small um, uh, manual correction burns if necessary, but uh, for the most part, Dragon will, uh, will take that flight around the International Space Station automatically. Uh, the flight computers themselves were uh, programmed just ahead of undocking, getting ready for that essentially fly around sequence. Uh, for the fly around sequence to begin, it's a different set of burns uh, to get them out to that hold point and then eventually around the station. We are getting fantastic views uh, from the uh, Dragon Eye, some of the Dragon cameras that are on the forward end uh, of Dragon pointing down. Uh, and that position will be held really throughout this entire fly around flight. Uh, we're a a little more than halfway there, uh, about 130 meters at this point. Again, we're getting to about 180 uh, to, somewhere between 180 to 220 until we get to that waypoint one hold point. We will not stay there for very long. It's only about a minute. Uh, and then if everything looks good, which the flight control te team are, uh, are trying to uh, determine uh, right now if they're good to go to proceed, uh, they'll execute that fly around burn um, pretty much immediately. Yeah, so that shot that we just had inside the cabin, uh, you could actually see Toma there uh, just underneath Megan and Shane um, taking these photos as we had indicated. Um, hopefully we'll get that view back momentarily. Uh, but Endeavor, this view- SpaceX, no response required, but we are going to clear the onboard Dragon Eye 1 and Dragon Eye like sensor cross-check alerts from your board. They are no longer active. Yeah, so this is a live view. From Dragon, and there's that shot inside the cabin. Uh, pilot Megan MacArthur on the right hand side, Commander Shane Kimbrough on the left hand side, and that's Thomas Pesquet, uh, basically the designated ph professional photographer of this mission. <laughs> um, if you've been following along on his Twitter account, there have been absolute golden photos uh, that he's really captured all along this mission. Uh, and I'm excited to see, you know what he might be putting his skills to uh, here as he continues to survey the station during this fly around. <laughs> 